What's up everyone? So on this video I want to explain why I'm done with this game and also why you should stay away from this game or at least not spend any money on this game. There is just so many things I don't even know where to start. So it's gonna be quite long video, if you don't have the time right now then just save it for later and watch it in segments. Because I just can't cut anything out, I have so many things that have just piled up over the years and I want to get all of them out of the way and explain in detail and show you all the problems that I've had with this game over the years. The general, you know, the community of this game, it's just full of these, you know, stupid toxic kids. They, they don't even know what they are saying or doing, you know. Developers, they don't care. They rather ban uh, the person who is reporting them rather than the actual violator themselves, you know. And also actual cheaters are getting unbanned. The anti-cheat uh, banned them and then they somehow magically got unbanned, so go figure. But, well, anyway, I'm gonna just show you a collection of all these uh, cases. I've been fed up with this game for a very long time now, roughly about two years by now. It's like the only reason I kept playing is because there was something to, you know, unlock and stuff, even though I have almost everything, like almost half a million coins worth of inventory, which will cost a lot of money. But um, anyway guys, without further ado, I will just show you the cases and then you can make up your own mind. Alright, so let's start with a box not getting fixed. Game breaking box. I made a report about it, this was in the Battle Pass 1 by the way, it's a bait content. And there was a bug with a cabin perk. And this guy in here, this uh, Scala, he's just uh, making fun of it, you know, just uh, wasting people's time. Like, he's asking for, the, you know, the um, vehicle designs and stuff, and uh, look what he's saying. As I wrote earlier, we are aware of that, and made some tickies and stuff like that, you know. And then other people, you know, stepping, stepping in, how, how much longer um, does it take, how much do we need to pay, then someone... Uh, quotes my uh, you know the when it was made in here and it goes on and on and on and then months later well this is a very hard bug like they are just making excuses they don't even care about it because they got the money for it and that's all they care about and finally people started making you know uh, fun of this guy in here you can read through the topic I will include all the links in the description so um, right as you can see people are making fun of this guy already in here and they just um, they closed the topic, they just didn't give a shit. And in meanwhile, when the people were reporting this bug, they had the arrogance to release two more battle passes, that's paid content, with the same kind of bug. This is a very definition of scam. They are selling content that is broken. Like this is like crazy. Month number nine and counting. This is how long it took them to even admit that there is a bug and they just closed the topic because people started making fun of this. This is not acceptable guys. What the fuck's going on here? Look at that! What the hell? <laughs> How did the vehicle disappear? <laughs> this is weird shit, look at that! What? Group shit. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck?
What the fuck? So what the hell is this? Look at this. What what is this? What the fuck? This is the first time I see this. That's a fucking ghost in this game. That's that's crazy. Oh shoot. Then there is also a problem that actual cheaters are not getting banned. I made a very detailed video about it long ago. And they just absolutely don't care. They even deny that such issue exists, you know. They are mostly aimbots, wall hacks and also some kind of glitches and stuff as you can see. But, well, they just don't do anything about it. They, they just don't care. And if someone does get banned, then they are just crying to their corrupt uh, game moderators and they just get unbanned. It's absolute bullshit what's going on in here. Again, check the links in the description. I left uh, some links in the description where you can check some of the cheat footages and stuff. And of course, there are some serious connection issues. And they just... They, they don't care. They, they just give you know, generic uh, feedback and that's it. And it's not just me. For example, look at this guy in here. I mean, I will put all the links in the description. I'm not going to show all the topics because there is like hundreds of pages of it. But for example, this guy in here, look what um, he's saying. If that is the case and you know it's the connection issue, reverse the ban. That's what appeal means. But they don't. They know that the problem is connection, but they still ban people for it and they refuse to reverse the ban. This is absolute bullshit. Like, look at all these... Um, all these complaints about it. See, people are including their, you know, screenshots and lags. Uh, this is probably uh, part of what I've been uh, saying, that uh, you should run the command prompt and ping either the crossout server or like Google. And if you see it, it's stable in here, but it's not stable in the game, then obviously the problem is with the game. There is, there is a lot of people who have even proven it, like with detail. They have used packet editors and stuff, and they have, you know, checked all the connection and stuff. And the problem is within the game. See, this guy, um, anyone else having lag spike issues, it, it's a game problem. There is nothing wrong with your connection, people. And also, uh, one of these topics, um, for example, this one, I will include the link in the description for this video. Uh, in here, my friends were able to see me move just perfectly fine, but I was stuck in a corner and I wasn't able to move. No, 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 on this one, I was literally stuck in a corner and other people weren't even able to push me out. It's like the server was like holding me there with, by some invisible force or something. And my ping was like insane, like 2000 or something. But then it went back to normal and that's it. It didn't, you know, um, it didn't recover from that lag. You can watch this video, it's in the description, guys. And look at this idiot. Please read this. Like, he doesn't even look. There is a video, what do you want to read? Fucking watch the video, you fucking moron. No, he wants some log files. This, this literally means that he doesn't care. They don't care. Game gets stuck on waiting for player's map screen. A lot of players have had this issue. And here... I saw one topic somewhere where people uh, showed two videos side by side. One was recorded by a friend and the other one was uh, from his own screen. On his friend's screen he was actually moving and his friend was telling him over the voice go left, go right. There was absolutely no delay. But his own screen was just stuck waiting for players. I think that's the one actually. I'm not gonna click in here because I might get copyright for it, so I can't watch them in here, but um, topic links in the description, check it out, guys. So they have um, specifically, you know, proven that the problem is with the game networking protocol, but they, they just, they, they are just stupid. They, they refuse to even, you know, admit that there is something like this. Another topic, server lag, this is in a PlayStation 4 discussion. These topics have been going on for years, and guys, they take a hold of this. Just listen to what I'm saying very carefully. The reason for the lag, there are two main reasons. One is bad programming, and the other one is because Crossout does not have its own servers. Crossout is running on War Funders back 
backup servers. This was confirmed by a moderator I knew. He specifically said that the game runs on backup servers of War Thunder. That's the problem. And they are banning people because of their own incompetence and greed to rent their own fucking servers. That's the problem. Too many missions in logs. He got his log files and he's still um, complaining. He is lagging. He <laughs> included all the log files. <laughs> this guy is telling him to make screenshots of the lag. <laughs> this is just next level of stupid, guys. <laughs> I don't know if I should laugh or cry or do both. I used to play with him in the clan wars, that's where it happened, I believe, yes, I'm in the group in here. He also uh, posted about it, like, look at this. He was getting banned because he was getting disconnected. And the, uh, I know his problem was with the actual, you know, um, internet. And I also included a footage in here from my point of view, proving that he didn't just leave the battle. This is another example. If they know, if they have solid proof that the person wasn't uh, unsportsmanlike or anything, they refuse to reverse the ban. Like, that is absolute nonsense. People are getting so mad about it and they just give zero fucks about it. And here's another one. That's uh, another one of my videos. I have a lot of unlisted videos of these bugs, so I will include them in the description again. And look at that. It was banned from part. You left clan wars. Is he fucking retarded? I have video proof that he did not leave battle. We were actually winning and we did win this match. I, this is why I included the proof just to back up his claims that he's having connection issues. And also, my own uh, internet right now has a daily reset which takes roughly about 5 to 10 seconds. The internet goes out for uh, 5 to 10 seconds and it's always the, around the same time. And during this time, Crossout instantly disconnects. In other games, I simply have a lag spike and I, I can continue playing. But in Crossout, instant disconnect, instant ban. Like, this is not acceptable, guys. This is not acceptable level of game. Next up, I want to talk about uh, Crossout developers or, well, uh, publishers or whatever. They are faking the Steam reviews. First of all, let's take a look at the most helpful reviews all time. And let's look at the playtime, which is very important. There is one uh, with uh, 0 0.5 hours, but look what he's saying. You can read through them. They are on the Steam, obviously, so I'm not going to read through all of them. But this guy is saying that it installs the Kaiji Net Agent, which is going to steal your information. And I can confirm it does connect to some Russian private servers that have nothing to do with the game. I didn't even allow it to connect to internet, so I don't exactly know if it steals information or not. But I can confirm that they are leaking information. I will uh, show you later on what they did, but um, let's move on with the reviews for now. As you can see, the most helpful reviews, they are basically saying the similar things, you know. But look at the playtime. That is the most important thing. Uh, this guy in here also, look at the review what he wrote. There is the Trojan thing that tries to steal information. I don't know why he put recommended. Maybe it was a mistake or something, I don't know. But as you can see, there is so many negative comments from people who have played a long time. So that has to, you know, mean something. To most people, even 100 hours is a lot of time in one game. And look at this one. Almost 4,000 hours negative review. Almost 1,000 negative. It's like, these are the comments that you should believe. 2,000 hours negative. And the developers started to see this, and then they started faking their own reviews to um, make their uh, reviews uh, more positive. And this is against the Steam rules, by the way. So let's le take a look at it. I'm going to show you some proof why I am absolutely certain that they are doing this. Here is another one. Look at that. Gaijin Net is still a background process after uninstalling. See? And so let's look here. They have 47,000 reviews and recent reviews are very positive. These are all faked guys and I can prove it. Let me show you. A lot of people don't know this and probably developers didn't know this either. But as you can see, in-game there are leaderboards from the previous events. And if you go into one of these leaderboards and scroll all the way to the bottom, you can actually see the total amount of players in the game, which is 86,557. 
even if these players have never played the event, their name will still be on the leaderboard. I tried it myself, I made another account, and I logged in, just logged into the game, that's all I did, and my name was on the leaderboard, even though I never played the event. Do they really want us to believe that out of 86,000 players, over half of them have written a review? No, 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 no. And this I can prove by looking at the recent posts. I'm recording this video on uh, 6 January, this specific clip. And as you can see the update in here, let's look, only one upvote and now they have zero. This is the latest post, let's look down, let's look another one, again, now it's zero. Let's look at this one, that's already zero, now it's gonna have minus one. What I'm trying to prove in here, that people are not even active. So how do we expect these non-active people to actually write positive reviews if they don't even check their posts? Now let's check some other games, for example, one of my favorite ones, Insurgency Sandstorm, which is unfortunately not very popular, but they are transparent. If you log in the game, you can uh, notice the total amount of players that is online. That is constantly between like uh, three to 6,000 players, constantly online. Let's look at their posts, shall we? So here is one small update, let's look at this one. I know this is like a month ago, but uh, let's look at this one. Very specific patch notes. Oh, what's this in here? Over 700 likes. Let's go down. 400. 500. 500. I can tell you that th there is such thing as called average statistics. Everyone knows this. I'm not a politician, but politicians know this the best. There is always an average, you know, statistics. And I can tell you that roughly about 10% of all the players in the game are the ones who click the vote, who actually check the news. And look at this, even the discussion, over 300. That's same on YouTube, look any channel, look some really popular channels with over 10 million views. They only have maybe like 10,000 to 20,000 likes, even though the video itself has over 10 million views. This is how it just works, guys. Only a small percentage of people, between five to 15% of people, actually bother to click likes and discuss the stuff. Alright, let's check another game called Brick Creek. So, let's see, what's what do they have in here? Uh, let's click on this one. Look at that. Almost 900. 700. 800. Oh my god, 3000. Like, these are the kind of, you know, numbers you see. And let's check the reviews. How many reviews do they have compared to the likes on the, you know, the posts? Oh, take a look at that. Only 21,000. Guys, I am telling you that they are faking their reviews. There is just no way that over half the crossout players have bothered to post a review. That is just not true. Compare it to any other game on Steam and you will notice it. This is the average statistics. If they have so many players posting reviews, that's just not true, that is faked. And let's take a look at some really unpopular game, Destructive Physics, it was made by one person only. Let's look at this one then. What does he have in here? 13 likes, 10 likes, 18, 15. Even this has more than the cross out. And this is like like, like a one person in the game. And well, let's look at through some of the reviews. For example, this one. Look at this part I have highlighted. You can also get put into games with players who are leagues above you in levels, but are running a vehicle with low power score, so they're allowed to fight against you and you get your ass stomped. Let's look at this one. Fun game, but like with all Russian companies, you get shit support. And this guy is saying that there is a hacker who are selling the accounts and stuff. Well, I can see the date when it was posted. I can tell you that wasn't the hacker. That was their own moderator or admin who is just abusing their own admin powers. Oh, look at this one. This game is like having a thief in your house. And let's look at edit. This game is full of spyware, which you can't delete from your computer. Tried deleting uh, Kai John <laughs> three times, still popped up. Now I'm going to make it my mission to report you to Steam, so you never publish something on Steam again. I will absolutely do the same. I will collect all the information and I will report this to Steam. Not only they are running some kind of 
spy shit, stealing, you know, details from computers, but they are also faking their own reviews, which is clearly against Steam policy. That's the one I scrolled through real quick. Another guy saying that there is uh, some kind of uh, malware in there that is connecting to some um, Russian servers and stuff. And let's look at another review. Over 300 people have found it uh, helpful and he even has awards for it. The game itself promised to be fun. I agree with this, I absolutely agree, I like the concept. I always like the concept, but developers are just ruining it. So, however it installs a so-called updater launcher from Kai Chin, and then you can read the rest. It uh, It's the same kind of bullshit, and this guy even saying that he um, reported it to the authorities and stuff. Obviously nothing's happened so far, but uh, well. I don't know, I think everyone should report this, because this is just not acceptable. So next up, let's talk about the broken matchmaking, which is a forced 50-50. I have already proven this, but I just want to show some feedback from other people that I collected. When players consistently score less than 300 points, they're bad players. Then the game mixes those with good players to give them wins, and good players loses. I don't necessarily think it's 50-50 is proven, but what Setio says is actually does make sense. Yes, it does make sense. This guy's a bit of an idiot, he always argues, but um, anyway, if you look through these topics, it's not just me, it's the same thing. Every other game, let's see what Lexi is saying. Every match nearly is uh, just um, fill squads, wait, fill squads, what full squads of... Um, <laughs> Tryhards versus my team of low level looking teammates and the matches are just not worth playing. No wonder new players don't want to play. It's just pointless. It's getting unbearable. This is exactly what I've been saying. It is absolutely unbearable. And I believe Lex is playing on uh, PlayStation because of the zero uh, matches. These matches only count if you play on, them, on PC. Yes, this is definitely a console. See, this guy is saying that they try to take advantage of the auto-aim, which exists on the console, you know. But that's the same thing. It's not just on PC. It's the same thing. It's the same thing that I've been saying. The matchmaking is just completely broken. Let's see what this guy is saying in here. Hidden ELO for matchmaking. He's asking for it, I guess. But um, sometimes I think the matchmaking is rigged. Even worse in Raid. Raids, I don't know, there is no matchmaking in raids, but uh, still. Or let's le take a look at this guy's um, comment. If you are complaining about the matchmaking, don't you just enjoy when you're put up against the same people for multiple matches in a row? And the three players who seem to dominate every match are never on your side. Can't agree more. Always on the opposite team. And the build that's specifically hard to counter, your build is always on the enemy team for certain. And if you change up your build, you never run into the same guys ever again. Except if you switch back to your previous build and then it's the same fun again. It is exactly what I've been saying. I can't agree more. 100% I agree with this. It's exactly done like this. It counters not only your build, but also your like uh, groups and stuff. It is such horseshit. Like there are so many people Look at this matchmaker um, having issues tonight. Let's see what this um, guy or girl is saying. All right, she's saying teams with uh, imbalanced number of players screenshots below. Well, yeah, that's even worse. One player is completely missing, like another one missing. And yeah, there is a fun thing which I already showed, a bug where I just got a match win because I don't know, matchmaker just broke for some reason. And at the end there is a little bit more. Look at that, there is players missing again at the end in here. I mean, it's not exactly 50-50, uh, but it, I mean, it could be. Like, the matchmaking knows that one player constantly has connection issues and then it puts you uh, in the team that needs to lose, so that could be part of the 50-50. I have noticed over the past month that the matchmaker almost intentionally creates two teams where it's already predetermined which team is going to win. You can read the rest, but that already pretty much explains exactly what I've been saying. 50 fucking 50. I mean, look at this! What is this supposed to be? <laughs> One team doesn't even have 100 points. It's basically their best is the other team's worst, which is the bot. I mean, you can't consider this bot, but still, there is a bot in here. Like, this guy has 200 points, which is already twice as much as their best player. Let's look at this one. Same situation. 
I can give you thousands of these screenshots. Actually, I deleted a lot of them because it was just taking off the, you know, the space, but still. I'm just saying it's not just me. There are lots of players who are saying the same exact thing. Well, this guy in here is uh, trying to say that the power score difference doesn't really matter, but, well, this guy puts it really well. A number that scores your vehicle's power. If I wanted to play handicapped, I'd break my fingers. Well, exactly. If someone wants to play handicapped, then they might as well play with one hand, or play with their tongue, or nose, or something, or with their toes, or who knows with what. I'm just saying that it's also the power score difference that just messes up the matchmaking and just forces one team to lose. If you want to see more details about this 50-50 matchmaking, I did also a video on it, I also posted it in here, but uh, check out this video. Some of the haters, they just read the title of the video and said no, 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 but they didn't even watch the video. They were just saying that, oh look, Setius can't get any wins. It has nothing to do with me. I had results from other players that I specifically asked to run some tests for me, and that's how I um, proved that it is 50-50 win-loss ratio. So check out that video and you will see for yourself. And then there are these kind of lies. Some of the CKs they are overpriced as hell, but uh, I would like to know what the hell is this? I can assure you this has never been in the game before. I have played this game almost every day for 4 years straight and this has never been in the game. And most definitely not for 666 coins. 666 coins is roughly worth about uh, 65 euros, something like this. So, paying like uh, this much for just uh, one, you know, avatar and two background images, have they completely lost their mind? Even 66 uh, cross coins, that would be worth roughly about, yeah, 6 euros, a little bit less, you know. You can't exactly buy the amount you want, so you have to buy a little bit more. So 6 euros and you would get just one avatar and two background images. Where are they taking these prices from? One of these should be no more than 1 euro. This pack total should be like 250, maybe 2 euros, that's what I would price it. But 6 euros? They, they've completely lost their mind. And then they are lying that this has previously been 666. That, that's a straight out lie. It has never been 666. And then there is this. Overweight again, because developers just can't keep their freaking fingers off the buttons. Like, why do they have to change something? I don't even know what they have changed. As you can see, it's just a little bit overweight. I have absolutely no idea where this is coming from. It's still overweight. And I know I made it with Perseus because I have saved it like this and I have used it in Clan Wars. So if, if, if it was like this before, then it will be impossible to take this in a battle. So it wasn't like this. I don't know what they are touching all the time. I already uh, changed my other build like this one. That was also overweight. It was um, 35 kilos to be exact. I had to replace the back wing with this uh, exhaust thing in here. And then I also had, um, this one was overweight, my dead stroke. I don't even remember what I changed on this one. Uh, I changed something somewhere, some frame or something. No, that bumper at the back in here, at the back. Uh, why is this doing it? Uh, this on the fuel tank. So I don't know why they have to touch things, just leave it alone. You have no idea how frustrating it is to players who just want to log in play clan wars or play some pvp for daily missions no you can't you have to rebuild because they have fucked something up again just stop touching everything and also let's mention the stupid market thing that you can't set the prices anymore now thanks to that i'm stuck with this stupid paint i can't sell it because nobody wants to buy it and you can't sell it for any cheaper than this one let me show you See, 197 are for this price. If I want to sell it, this is the lowest price I can set. I will sell this garbage for 100 coins. I just don't want it. You, Yeah, you can recycle it, but I'm not going to recycle a paint if I could sell it. And that's again, they, they just screwed it up. 
they are not playing the game themselves and they don't understand the damage they are doing with their stupid decisions made on the log files. And then there are serious trolling and corruption issues. The trolls they are usually friends with the moderators or admins so they don't get punished for it. But every time this happens I save the clip, let's look at few of these clips. I have blurred them out on purpose, not to give them any credit, you know, because autistic kids like this, they think it's some kind of accomplishment if they are like acting like autistic idiots, and then someone, you know, puts them on a video, like, yeah. I, I don't get it, it's some monkey thing, I don't understand the monkey thing, but um, every time this happens, I have saved the clips, and I have uh, shown these on the forums in the rules violation section. This is the topic that is only seen to the player and the admins. But they just don't care. For example, look at this one. Only one view. And the reply from one of the admins is that they have been dealt with. How can you deal with them if you haven't even seen what happened? Like, let's look at these clips and you tell me whose fault it is. Most of the time I just release the controls, I just leave the PC and I just let them uh, do their monkey thing. But no, they, they don't even care, they don't even look what is happening. And also every time this happens, I include the clip from the start of the match to show that this was not provoked, I didn't push them first, I didn't start the trolling, I didn't do anything at all. Most of these names I never even heard of. I don't know what their problem is. They probably got owned when they were in the enemy team and then they just got butt hurt or something. But there is nothing against the game rules in there. If someone is in the enemy team, then everything is allowed. I, I don't see the problem in here. But kids like that, they get butt hurt and then they just start pushing you around when they are in your team because they are just mad cause bad. But this is a really big issue because developers don't deal with it and their friend moderators, they just let them do it. For example, look at this baguette. This happened at the start of the match, so I confronted him. Unfortunately, I don't have the clip anymore, I think. But I confronted him, and look at his reply. Like, what is this even supposed to mean? You're a moderator, so fucking moderate. No, zero shit's given, because he doesn't like me. Like, this, this is the, you know, the maximum level of corruption. And there is more to come from that guy. This is one of the most toxic moderators I have ever seen. So, since they are not doing anything, I got angry with this and I just started uh, pretty much spamming them. Every admin and uh, moderator I was able to find on the forums. One of them even turned the private messages off. It specifically says in the rules violation section that you can um, message either uh, one of these three moderators, but one of them has turned the uh, private messages off, so this is how little they care. But I just started messaging everyone, you know, who I found, like anyone who has some kind of power to do something about it, and I uh, included the video proofs, I linked them to topics and asked like, how many times do I have to report these players until something is done about it? You can clearly see on my videos, I have not provoked them, I have not done anything, I haven't trolled them, they just keep doing it every match after match. And as a result of that, they banned me! For seven days! For seven days for reporting trolls! Is this some kind of a fucking joke or something? So, then I went back on the forums and asked, in the rules uh, uh, appeal section, that uh, what is this supposed to mean then? Why is my account banned? What did I do exactly? And this is the reply from a developer. Just take a look at this bullshit. So he's saying your account was blocked to a violation of several game rules as paragraphs. One of them being 7.11. Uh, like, what? We received a lot of reports on you waging and pushing allies around. Uh, where is the proof? Where is the proof? Coupled by reports of violations in the game chat. I know for a fact that is bullshit because ever since the unjustified last chat ban, which was a couple of days or something, I don't remember how long it was, but uh, I only said trash in there or something like that, and the other guy said it the same thing, but I got banned, he didn't, so yeah, right. Alright, so let's take a look at this chat ban, shall we? So I'm gonna zoom in on the chat so you see what's going on. So, let's look 
and you tell me if that's justified or not. This is just a casual talk so far. And I am pretty sure that this uh, GM is not in the match at all. He's, he can just read all the chat, you know. Just like all the moderators, they can um, read the chat, so... He has nothing better to do, he's just some autistic kid, you know, sitting behind his PC and just reading my chat, because he's such a pathetic loser, you know, but uh, anyway. Just look at the chat. Let's see what's going on, you know. I'm not even, uh, you know, telling anyone that they they are like uh, zero skill or anything i was just referring to the you know the builds and generic well you can see what's going on but uh, you'll see you'll see and you have been blocked in game chat nice and take a look at this screenshot this uh, relic name moderator, he just chat banned someone because he didn't like the way he was talking to his friend over the private message. Is this justified? I would say this is complete nonsense, but well, apparently he knows better, you know, he knows how to abuse these moderator powers. So I know for a fact that was bullshit because after that, I never said anything bad in the chat. I made specifically sure because I knew one of the moderators is just harassing me and banning me for absolutely no reason. Also, we have reason to believe that you've been um, systematically provoking other players into aggression towards yourself. Do you see any aggressions on these clips I am showing you? Like, what exactly is aggression in there? Again, this little faggot as Sam, he doesn't even look at the evidence I send him. Everything is done based on the logs. Like, he even said it. We received a lot of reports. Where is the proof? Proof! This moderator is asking his friends to report me for no reason at all. And this is what this idiot is looking at. He is looking at the reports and not the actual evidence that I have provided. This is like absolute nonsense. This is pathetic how they run their game. They don't even look at the evidence. They only believe what idiots are saying. Later reporting them because of that. Their act actions are violating the rules. There's no doubt about that. However, yours are too. And the paragraph 10.1 that basically, you can read through it, but that basically says that even though I have not done anything at all, just because the developers don't like me, they can ban me. Like, this is absolute fucking pathetic. That is fraud and that is scam. And then he's saying, all the players you reported received an appropriate punishment. However, being a target of unsportsmanlike conduct doesn't let you act this way yourself. Where have I acted like this myself? I didn't even do anything. The worst I have done is defended myself by just turning my wedge to the enemy so they drive on top of my wedge and flip themselves, like you saw on a couple of the clips. How is that my fault? They ram into me, they flip themselves, and I get banned. That is just amazing, what can I say? And well, since they banned me because I was reporting these trolls, then I used some of these older clips, and I also made some of the clips in a custom battle with friends, just to mess around, you know, just for a video. Because that's how videos are made, just like uh, movies, you know, people are acting, doing things on purpose. But anyway, I'm talking about my Peasant Pusher 9000 video, because they banned me for the second time over that video, which includes the clips that I already showed them. So, basically what they did, they banned me twice for the same exact thing. All of these clips seen on the Peasant Pusher 9000 are either the ones you have already seen on the forums, I mean not you, but the topics that I made, the topics that I showed. All of these clips are included in there, the other people started it. On the Peasant Pusher 9000 video, this is made for entertainment only, so I have cut them short. I haven't showed them the, you know, the start where the people are starting to push me and all that. But they just ram into me, I turn around, I turn my wedge to them and pretty much just uh, flip them around so they will leave me alone. And this, this, this results in a second ban. I am telling you, they banned me twice for the same exact thing. So if I'm gonna make another video using the same clips, are they gonna ban my already banned account again? To, they gonna like double ban the banned account? Like are they that retarded or something? I tried explaining this, 
but but they are just not even listening. They don't even look at the footage that I'm sending them. They don't even read what I'm telling them. The replies are just pathetic. Like look at this one. The previous topic of yours was close to your question being answered. Where was it answered exactly? I explained to this uh, little packet that you banned me twice for the same exact clips. Since the first time you didn't do anything about the trolls, so I just published the videos, at least some of the clips, you know. If I would include all the clips that I have of the trolls, that video would be way over 10 hours. And I don't think anyone would watch this long. It's already long enough, you know. The ban you got is completely justified and therefore can't be lifted. What do you mean justified? He didn't explain anything. I also asked him to show me the exact part, what, I, what rules I violated in the chat. He completely ignored it. And he ignored it because he doesn't have any proof. He doesn't care. He made his decision based on the log files that only show that someone reported something. That's all they see. They see there is a report, but they don't actually see if a legitimate report or bullshit. And this relic name he admitted in public. Okay, it's not in public. One of his own friends was ratting on him. So that's how I got the screenshots and stuff. But one of his own friends made the screenshot and said that he's been bragging about it. And that's exactly what it was. He just asked all his friends to randomly report me every time they see me in the match. And they are just looking at my profile from the search page. Every time I enter the match, they try to get in the same battle just so that they can report me. They do this probably like, I know, 10 times a day or something like this. I don't even know all of their names. I don't know most of the names actually, I know only a couple of them, but uh, anyway, my point is, all of these reports that they have made are false reports. And I explained this, I, I wrote them long, long topics about it. I explained in detail, I provided the same kind of proof, same kind of videos. I explained that these clips you banned me for the second time were old clips that I have already shown on the forums. But since they haven't even seen them, they don't even know what they're, they are about. Like I showed you, one view. That is solid proof that they have never even seen the clip that I provided them in the first place. They simply don't even look at the proof. But anyway, the real reason behind why people are getting so toxic towards me is not because I provoke them, but because they are just getting owned and then I just honk the crap out of them. I mean, you could call it provoking, but they are in the enemy team, so what I'm supposed to do? Pat them on the head or something and let them kill me? Why should I do that? Back, boy. This is not against the game rules. If they are in the enemy team, then everything goes. That's not against the game rules. If you don't like the horn, disable it in the options or cry to the developers to remove the car horns. But anyway, look at this. As you can see, this little terrorist wannabe is getting absolutely wrecked. He even tried to run away. And wait for it, just wait for it. He couldn't hold his horses. I honked the crap out of him. There you go, there you go, look at that. Is this how a moderator should act? Come on. And also, look at him rage quit now because I have the map advantage. I changed my build, he also changed it because he's looking at my profile, and rage quit, because he knows that he can't come over the Acid Lake with his stupid ass melee build. And on top of that, I wanted to mention that my private messages are restricted to friends only. He is not in my friends list. So not only he uh, violated my privacy, but he also used vulgar language in chat. That's coming from a moderator. Is this acceptable? And here's another moderator talking shit about macro, when there is no macro at all. This was back in the days when you was able to hold down the fire all button, and then when you was holding down the left button, then the Helios was shooting constantly. They changed this now. Now when you hold the left click down, or well the fire key, then the Helios shoots, you know, 
constantly. But uh, back in the days it wasn't possible and this idiot didn't know that if you hold down the fire all button and then hold down the left click, then you can still shoot continuously. He didn't know this, so he started accusing me in having a macro. When in reality he was actually using a wall hack. He was in my team, he wasn't in the enemy team. And I actually got killed, I was spectating him and that's why I said, wow, nice wall hack. And well, that's a moderator guys. And then he proceeds to violate my privacy settings. He, is, he was sending me private messages and then calling me salty. What, what is salty about it exactly? Like, can you point out the line in that uh, chat what is salty exactly? Like, uh, I don't understand this, but these are the kind of moderators Crossout has. And then somebody is saying fuck shit, and he completely ignores that. So I also contacted Kaijin support, because they are not the developers, they are publishers. They are still related and stuff, but uh, anyway. I provided them proof, as you can see. I provided them the same kind of proof that the relic name, this moderator, he's calling me names, he's harassing me. He's also in some kind of uh, Nazi and animal abuse groups. He's like uh, this little terrorist wannabe. And I asked him, is this like, you know, acceptable level of moderation? And this is their reply. They are absolutely ignoring what I'm saying. I showed them proof that these reports and these bans are based on false information made up by a corrupt moderator. And he's telling me to contact the so-called Game Master, well, they call the GM, K, uh, GM is Game Master apparently, but I call them moderators. He's telling me to contact that same moderator who is corrupt and who did this in the first place. This is just absolute disregard towards their customers. He doesn't even give a shit what I'm explaining. I don't think he even read anything and I don't think he even looked any of the screenshots that I provided. I also wanted to mention that the developers are so punitive that they have actually changed my 50-50 forced win-loss ratio to now uh, about 10 to uh, 90. As you can see, this has been going on for like 2 or 3 days straight now. It doesn't matter what build I play, it doesn't matter how I play, I can get like 6 or 7 kills per match, still a loss. You can say whatever you want, but 7000 hours of this game and I have never had this kind of situation ever before. This is definitely done on purpose. Since all this nonsense banning happened during the battle pass, I had no other choice than to um, file a dispute on the PayPal against the battle pass. And well, here's the story then. I opened the dispute on 18th November. I explained in detail that my account was uh, banned twice for absolutely no reason at all. I included them proof as you can see, I was explaining in detail, I included screenshots and explained that some kind of bias moderator is just banning my account and the developers are confirming this based on false reports that are made by this biased moderator. I sent screenshots and all that and uh, explained to PayPal that I received absolutely no reply from them. Actually this is not uh, to the PayPal yet. As you can see in here, this case will auto close if it isn't resolved by 8th December. I opened this on 18th uh, November. And this is not a message to PayPal yet. I mean, PayPal can see it, but they are not uh, looking at it right now because this is just a message sent to Kaijin Network. As you can see in here, send a message to Kaijin Network. This is just so called um, quote unquote friendly conversation between me and Kaiji Network to solve the issue. But they weren't even interested because I never received a reply from them. And as you can see at the bottom, there are options, closed case, received item, but it wasn't descri uh, described, escalate issue to PayPal. Kaiji is just playing dumb and they are hoping that I'm not going to escalate this to PayPal uh, before the 8th of December and this is the date when the case will auto close in their favor. But a couple of days before the um, deadline, I actually escalated this to PayPal because I have no other choice. They just, uh, they are not interested to even communicate, you know. This was um, roughly about one week before that, as you can see from the date, uh, 3rd of December. Uh, I think I sent um, 
dispute on 2nd of um, December or something. PayPal is usually pretty fast with these things. They are waiting for a reply from the PayPal. I mean, PayPal is uh, waiting for a reply from Kaichi Network. But they never received that either. Because they are just not interested. They are hoping that PayPal just, like, I don't know, decide the case in their favor. Because they are just ignoring everything. Not gonna happen, buddy. They said that we reviewed the case. Uh, and we decided in your favor. Well, duh, obviously, because Kaijin is scammers. They are not even explaining anything. And then, instantly after that, my account has been suspended. That's the entire Kaijin net account. That's not just Crossout I'm talking about. I'm talking about entire um, Kaijin account, everything. This was almost instantly after they lost the case. So as you can see from the proof, they are just playing dumb and try to play on time just to get that freaking 10 euros out of me. And then also, I contacted them again, the Gaijin support, and asked uh, why is my entire account banned then? Or suspended, that was the word, not banned. And this is one of their uh, Gaijin agents' uh, replies. Does it look like blackmail to you? Because it sure as hell does look like one to me. Since such charge... Uh, okay, let's start from the beginning. Your account was frozen to a, to a fraud report. What do you mean fraud? Who are you calling a fraud in here, you fucking scammer? You took my money, you banned my account, I didn't receive the service I, I paid for, and you're calling me a fraud. Like, he has this kind of arrogance to call me a fraud. So anyway, since such chargebacks entail financial losses uh, for our company, we have to block such accounts. In your case, the total loss for our company was 1139 uh, uh, United States dollars. This is like, they even make it red, like to point out that we want this money from you or we are not going to unban you. I am not going to send them any money at all. It's about principle. So if any of you wants to support me, then you are welcome to do so, but please don't send the money to Kaijin and ask him to unban me. It's okay if you want to support me through the Patreon or something, but I have absolutely no intentions on paying them any cent at all. So that's that. And then also, I contacted Kaijin one more time, just one last time. I thought I'm gonna ask them nicely. I explained the situation again. I sent them all the screenshots from the PayPal, from all the previous ones, what, uh, you know, the moderators and stuff have done, all the injustice in this, and this is his reply. It's like, he just literally doesn't care. Absolutely zero shits given. And on top of that, they also shared my email address, which I specifically made just to use with a Kaijin account, because I never trusted them from the beginning. But anyway, now that email is getting spammed, I'll just disable it. It's not an actual inbox, it's just a forwarding address. But well, that's the story guys. I'm just going to uninstall this piece of shit and I hope all of you will do the same.